It's one big pile of shit. Welcome back everyone. If you're new here, my name is Alexander. So let's talk horse poo. Horse manure, horse dung, horse droplets, horse balls. Forget that last one. Let's talk manure. It's, it's a great soil additive but it does serve its problem. So let's go through the pros and the cons, but let's start with the worst. Let's start with the worst. Let's talk about the cons, yeah? Herbicides. I said it too glamorously. I should say it like herbicides. Herbicides are bad. Basically, what the, what the farmers do is they spray their paddocks, their fields, because they want to kind of rid the farm with the horses of broadleaf plants. So that's dock, nettles, all that kind of countryside stuff that you'll find. So the more grass they have, the more fodder and food for the horse. So that's why they spray herbicides, but then the horse consumes that herbicide and what other plants are broadleafed? Your vegetables. So your horse been yours riddled with, with herbicides. Chill people, chill. The best thing that you can do is go for horse poo, which is three plus years old, because that's how long it takes for the horse manure to rid itself of that. And as we look at this video, that's why I'm going for the back of the pile. You can see there's stinging nettles, there's dock, there's nickio, there's ground salt, there's etc, etc. All these type of broadleaf plants which are growing in the horse poo, so I feel like that's your best bet, is they're gonna go for really old poo, because I've spoken to the farmer who could have created this pile, and he said it's been there for about four years, so, but hold up, it's not all, not all is lost. Onions or plants from the alien family aren't broadleafed. I'm sure there are other plants out there, but all I know is that, that garlic and onions and stuff like that, they're not broadleafed and they should, they're, they're able to take horse poo which is, has herbicide in. So you could take a two, say two year old or year old horse poo which is full of herbicide, put it on your onions and garlic and they'll still be able to. And then what that might do is suppress other weeds around it so it's, it's it's a blessing in disguise that but again I, I don't like that thought but that's what you could do if you do have horse poo which is riddled with herbicide and you don't know what to do with it oh and you can chuck it on your lawn because grass is again it's not um, broadleafed and that's what the farmers trying to encourage more grass so if you people if you've got a lawn then chuck it on there or just sit down and let it age for a couple more years another thing to look out for is dewormer Dewormer kills worms, people. What horses seem to get riddled with worms, I've heard, so yeah, dewormer's a thing to give to a horse, but then that can be passed through into the manure. <gasps> but yeah, rest assured, dewormer can be got rid of a lot easier than herbicide. All you do, if you've got horse poo with dewormer in, you lay it out in the sunshine and let the UV rays burn through and what that does is rid the dewormer and then you're safe you're safe to use it i say a couple of days is fine some people leave it for a lot longer but a couple of days in my eyes is, is on a good summer day it dries it all out and it works perfectly again if you've got really old horse poo and you start digging through and you see tons of worms that's when you know there's no dewormer in because obviously it's in the name i say it again de no dewormer gets rid of worms last thing to look out for last thing the last con i like to say is wood shavings and sawdust in your horse manure because wood shavings and sawdust are the same thing really they take a lot of nitrogen to break down so my cat's here have you ever met Coco? this is Coco and I deal with her manure not the best but we'll talk about that another day no joke hey Coco tonight I'll be a naughty girl so where was I? Sawdust and wood shavings, yes, they, they love nitrogen. They need a lot to break down. So then if you go and get some horse poo with loads of wood shavings and I mean, wood shavings and sawdust, it can leach the goodness away from your plant, so be warm with that. So again, I say three to four year old horse poo, you're winning. So those are the cons, people. So let's talk about the pros, or my pros. This is what I consider the bee's knees when it comes to horse poo. It's free contains essential nutrients and it doesn't stink and it's full of composting worms. Oh, and I forgot to mention a slight con, which is some horse poo, some really old horse poo can be deprived of nutrients such as potassium and phosphorus. So it's not the best, it's more of a mulch than anything apart from a feed to the plant. So what you can do is just add chicken poo and potash and that will kind of revitalize your horse poo and give it the kick that you or your plants want. It was one of those whispery type moments, you know, like David Amber on, on the TV. You shouldn't have shut up. But anyways, I was working 
and Mrs. Pheasant at a nest literally right next to where I was pulling out the bags. She has nerves of steel, I tell you. Check this out. Check this out, the reason why she didn't move. Look, check this brood. Look at this brood. And I thought I scared her off with all the bags and the commotion and stuff. But then I checked back again because I went back to get some more horse poo and she's fine. She's sitting there again, all looking at me like. But hey, back to horse poo. So those are my pros and cons when it comes to horse poop. So I hope you use it wisely. Don't eat it. And... <laughs> so yeah guys, please come back and join me so we can plant some veggies together. I'm gonna to do it with cedar bean, gardening with a toddler, episode two. So yeah, have a good one. And keep, keep cool. And drink lots of water. And stay safe.